Hello everyone, I am Loknath and today I will be reviewing the Redmi 4A which is a budget oriented smartphone which offers great specs at an amazing price point of Rs 6000 only. So why wait? Let's get started. This is the box of the Redmi 4A as you can see the simplistic design of Xiaomi. On the back side you can see Made in India logo and some specifications of the phone which I will show you which is a Snapdragon Qualcomm uh, 425 quad core processor, 5 inch of display, 13 megapixel rear camera, front mega 5 megapixel and 3120 mAh battery. Let us open the box now and see what are the contents inside. The phone. We'll get back to it later. Few documentations. A micro USB cable and a power brick. Normal power brick. No fast charging supported. So yeah, we'll get away with the box contents and focus on the main device. So guys, this is the main device here, the Redmi 4A. We'll get a physical overview. First, we'll peel off the plastic. So this is the phone in all its glory. As you can see, on the back side, it's metal. On the back also, there is a camera, which is 13 megapixel camera with a flash and the Mi logo. On the back, there is a speaker. And on the bottom, we'll get one charging port and one mic. On the top, you'll get 3.5 millimeter audio jack and the IR blaster. This is good to see that Xiaomi has included the IR blaster at this price point also. On the right hand side, you'll get one power on of button and the volume rockers. The device feels really lightweight and good to hold in hand. It has put nice curvatures around it and the back is metal so it should protect your phone. At this price point, I feel the build is quite nice and good for this phone. Let us go through a software overview now. This device is running on Android Marshmallow. I will show you. So about phone, we'll go to about phone and you can see here the model number, the Android version, the security patch, the Mi UI level and versions, the CPU, RAM and everything. You can see here, so the RAM is 2 GB. Uh, and uh, the internal is 16 GB out of which I have installed some apps and initially in the first boot around uh, 10 GB was available and so yeah that's about the settings and if I give you an overview of how it feels it feels for quite fluid and there is no such issues like lags or something it, the apps load a bit slow but it's not that uh, you can feel it on a day-to-day -day usage what I'll do, I'll clear the RAM and show you how much is available. So, uh, when you clear, around 911 MB of RAM is still available. Let's talk about camera. So, guys, this phone is having a 13 megapixel camera and 5 megapixel front camera. But don't expect miracles from this camera because this is a budget phone, as you know. I'll show you some of the picture samples taken by this phone and some video samples also. Do check them out. This is a video recording from the back camera of the Redmi 4A. This video is being shot from the front facing camera of the Redmi 4A. This video is being shot from the Redmi 4A at night. Let us do some gaming now. I'll open up Asphalt 8 and show you how the game plays. So let us play one level and see how it is. So let's let's play Nevada. By the way, I'm playing it uh, in medium resolution. A few frame rates as I can see even now. The game is 
quite playable as you can see here guys the graphics is not bad as I had expected please nice even at the medium graphics the game is playing good it's playable there are minor frame drops as I can see here and there But this game is playable. Let's do some drift. Doing some sit down. Guys, as you can see, uh, the game is playing good here. And uh, what more do you expect from a phone which costs around six thousand rupees? So I think it's playable. I think it will play even the basic game quite nicely. Let me uh, feel the temperature now. I have been playing this game for quite a long time, five to ten minutes. Uh, not very hot. Uh, the temperatures are in control. The phone feels quite nice and the temperatures are not that hot as I can feel from here after a gaming of 5 to 10 minutes. Let's fire up anti 2 and see the benchmarking score. That 6196 is the anti 2 score guys as you can see and uh, I think this is a uh, great score uh, for a budget oriented phone. Let us now see what are the main sensors that this phone has. I have opened up the CPU-Z applications as you can see here. Uh, it's 4 cores and ARM Cortex-A53 and this is the device information. You can see all the information is given. This is the system information, this is the battery, this is the thermals and the sensors. The accelerometer is here, the magnetometer is here. The gyroscope is here and uh, the gravity sensor is here, linear acceleration, game rotation. Yeah guys, so most of the sensors are present in this phone. So it's uh, very good to see that Xiaomi has included all or most of the important sensors uh, that many phones lack which is having a greater price point than this. To conclude, should you buy this phone? Yes, definitely. This phone is a great value for money and does all the basic day-to-day -day tasks of a good smartphone. I mean at a price of 6000 what more do you expect? And who should buy this phone? I guess everyone and anyone who is looking to move from a feature phone to a smartphone and is on a tight budget should definitely go for it. Also for someone who wants a spare phone would also find it very handy. Xiaomi has always been aggressive on pricing. Also with this device, they continue to amaze us. That's all guys for this video. If you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and hit that red subscribe button. And don't forget to share the video with your friends. Have a nice day.